just don't know the way that I should I follow Jesus, I follow Jesus He's always helping me, He's strong when I am weak I follow Jesus, I follow Him I'm gonna walk, walk, walk like Jesus And I wanna go fun with all the cool shoes in his trunk. I think these could fit my Uncle Zeke. He's the biggest person I know. Hello up there, Uncle Zeke. And these are so teensy weensy tiny that only a little baby could wear them. I wonder if Miss Kathy Sue next door could wear these in her garden. These look like her size. And these look like they're big enough for my dad. He loves hiking. Oh, hey, I think these could fit me. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Finding shoes for everyone, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. There are so many shoes in here. I think there's a pair to fit everyone in the world. Shoes are fun, it's true. But I know something even more awesome too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Hi friends, I'm Justin the Mailman. 
Do you notice anything different about me? I have clown shoes on! Aren't they so silly? Do you want to know why I'm wearing them? Well, because Jesus loves everyone. Even when we're being silly and wearing clown shoes. <laughs> oh, which reminds me of today's story. Are you ready for it? I've got the story mail right here. This true story from the Bible is about Jesus' 12 friends who followed him. Let's meet them. Hey guys, come on out. Here they come. There's Peter, Andrew, James, John, the other James, Matthew, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Judas, Thaddeus, and Simon. They were 12 of Jesus' closest friends. They were his disciples, and they followed him. Let's learn more about them. Peter and Andrew were brothers. So were James and John, and all four of these men were fishermen. But not everyone was a fisherman. Matthew, where are you? There he is. Matthew used to be a tax collector and collect money. They were all very different, right? Brothers, fishermen, tax collectors. They all came from different places and had different families. But do you know what? They were all friends with Jesus because everyone can be friends with Jesus. And when Jesus said, follow me, they all said, yes. They followed Jesus to so many places and saw him be a friend to everyone. Jesus was a friend to people who were sick. He even made some better. He was a friend to people who were hungry and he gave them food. He was also a kind and loving friend to children, and he listened to them. So when Jesus went away, his friends would go everywhere, telling everyone that they can be friends with Jesus. We can tell our friends that they can be friends with Jesus too. Oh, hey, Ollie, tell me, who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus wants everyone to be his friend, and that means me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus told so many different people to follow him. He wants all of us to be his friends too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm going to try these on. Hey, they even light up too. I'm going to go tell my friends that Jesus wants to be friends with all of us, too. See you next time. Bye. Come and follow me, Jesus said, Matthew 4, 19. Come and follow me, Jesus said, Matthew 4, 19.